Hey guys, it's always lovely to have you here. We're going to give a pretty simple solution to this question, the maximum number of electrons in the L shell of an atom is? Before we jump right in, I'd implore you to smash the like button, subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you get notified every time we've uploaded great content as this one. Without much ado, let's go right through into the solution. To begin with, we must understand and interpret what is required of us. We're asked to determine the maximum number of electrons in the L shell of an atom. What is the L shell? The L shell is simply the second innermost shell of electrons surrounding an atomic nucleus. To know the total number of electrons that this shell could house, we use the following general formula that help us compute the total number of electrons a shell can contain. Using the formula 2n square, where n represents the principal quantum number. The L shell is the second shell with quantum number 2, therefore, we'll have 2 times 2 squared. 2 squared equals 4. 2 times 4 equals 8. Our solution therefore means that the maximum number of electrons possible in the L shell is 8. In sodium with atomic number 11 for example, the first shell which is the K shell with a quantum number of 1 would have a maximum number of 2 electrons. We just saw that the second shell L would have 8 electrons. We're left with one electron. This electron has to go to or spill over to the next shell, the M shell, as it can't be housed in the L shell. Thus, we could represent sodium as 281. I hope this makes sense. To verify that you do actually understand this concept, I leave this question with you. What is the maximum number of electrons in the M shell? I'll tip you off by letting you know that the M shell has a quantum number of N equals to 3. Drop the solution on the comments section. Follow up more exciting concepts like this on the next video. We have inserted links in the video description to resources that would be of help to you. Do well to ask other questions and drop your thoughts on the comment section. Remember, you can book a one-on-one -on -one session with us. First class is usually free. See you on the next one.